So I am with my dear friend Mr. Pulak Mehta, whom I've known for several years, and uh, the guy has been studying, working, living in the U.S. for the past almost three years now, right? Yeah, three years. And uh, and we got together after you know three years, and you know we spent a couple of hours together. But something really funny came up in this conversation. Pulak was telling me about his uh, experiences with the legal system in the U.S.A. and i found it to be very very funny and i thought that this is something that all lawyers law students and in general the people who watch me the kind of stuff that i talk about you will definitely find it a little funny and a uh, little entertaining and maybe a little enlightening as well so pulak here to you thanks amish uh, so now uh, i guess there's a big difference in the american system and in indian system in terms of settlement So I believe in in India, when you ask for a compensation for a mistake or for a problem that or a grievance that you have, you get compensation based on only the issue or the problem that you, as an individual or the person who has filed a claim, gets it. Whereas in the U.S., there's something called class action lawsuit that it is a the person who has made a mistake he should be awarded, but apart from that, the company should pay money or compensation to all the victims that have been done. It is just a way for that I believe is as a deterrent for the companies not to repeat it. Yeah. So I've had you know two or three interesting incidents of my experience with this class action lawsuit. So this is the first time. This was around in March 2020, just just prior to COVID, and I'm 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 just scrolling my Instagram, just having some fun, scrolling it, and I see an ad, and that ad is of a class action lawsuit that I can participate. So what happened is Robinhood, which is like a stock trading app in the US, was down for like an hour on one particular day, and when it was down. people could potentially not sell that stock and they ended up losing money because of you know the app not being available so if i wanted i could be a part of the class action lawsuit and if they won money because you know the stock the the app was not working i would get a compensation so so this was my first experience but you did not sign up i didn't sign up i didn't sign up for this because i was not sure i was just as a you know normal normal immigrant there on a student visa i was not sure how how it works out there so this was my first experience then my mindset shifted when i heard my sister's story so my sister is is working in the us and she she went ahead and applied for this this job opening like 6 or 7 years ago and she's been working nothing is happening life is going on as usual and out of no day out of nowhere she gets an email congratulations you have you have like got some money from a class action lawsuit and the lawsuit was that the company that she had applied for She didn't even work there. She had applied for that job at a particular company, and that company was um, was regressive or discriminative against a certain section, um, Indian Americans, uh, Americans, Asian, American Asians. So just because she had she had applied, and because they were discriminating, she was awarded a, a compensation of like you know multiple multiple grand. And that just shifted my mindset. Like I'm like okay, the next time I'm gonna hear a class action lawsuit, I'm definitely gonna apply. uh and guess what i guess within a few weeks of hearing that story i get a i get a notification on instagram and this is this surprising i get notification about class action lawsuit on social media and instagram and not on you know like friends or just on on the newspaper so this time around i was using i just i, I got a notification or i just don't know the exact source uh, but it was again on instagram that um if you used one of these financial services app you are you can avail compensation and it was basically a privacy privacy lawsuit that this company called plaid had which is if you were using any financial instrument like you know like the paytms of 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 the us you would make a payment using your bank which would be like you know like the icici but the intermediary on on the particular website it should have been the payment page which should have been of like the icici or just just a bank i'm just giving icici as an example uh, so in this case rather than showing the banks a web page a portal they were showing like a mock page made by plaid which was not truly a bank so this is basically a privacy concern this is basically a security concern that you're fooling the users to thinking that it is a bank but whereas it is not the bank and it looked looked and feel the same so i'm like yeah i i use a so so i accidentally use a service not knowing that i'm using plaid but i was just using like a venmo one of these uh, normal uh, financial transaction app So this was this was I guess in Jan Feb of this year, okay. and and it was very recent. And they actually had won it 
that's when that's when I came to know that they had won for like fifty eight million dollars, and yeah. they had to pay out to to anyone who applied. And I just saw the I went go, I found the form. I just applied, and I'm just like fi- finally I was just there. Uh, I, I remember I was I was in the hills somewhere uh, in Yellowstone National Park, just enjoying enjoying the beauty. And I get an email, congratulations, you have won like you have got about like around fifty dollars <laughs> for uh, for the for the settlement suit. So this has been my experience of you know class action lawsuits in the US, where just keep your eyes and ears open, and there are chances that even when you have not done anything wrong, sorry, even when you have not done anything explicitly or uh, you may not have done anything, uh, or you may not have been a victim. So you not you not have been a, you may not have been a victim as such. That's the right way to put it. You would still get compensation. So my moral of the story was apply to as many jobs as possible because you never know <laughs> <laughs> what might happen. Yeah. And just keep an eyes and ears open. I, I have heard even other companies like Zoom had a recently again a privacy security one. So I got to even look into that. Fantastic, dude! It's yeah. like a bounty hunter situation where Pulak kind of runs around and does this. Could be like a legitimate way of life. But apart from that, if you want to hear more about my experience of experiencing the law in the US, of what happens when a police uh, pull me over for over speeding, and uh, other experiences of the law uh, in the US. Comment comment down below, and we might make another another video on that. Oh, that would be fantastic! Uh, thank you so much, Pulak, for doing this. And there's no comments or anything. We don't care. We're gonna get Pulak back on a video again, very very soon. I did not even know about this. The guy yeah. throws this in like a little bonus at the end. We're definitely gonna do this. Thank you so much, my brother, for doing this. Thank us. you, man. This thank was you, brother. a lot of fun. Lot of fun. <laughs>